Hello everyone. Today in trigonometrical leveling, in base of the object inaccessible, we are going to see double plane method. Let us keep this object as a tower. Let us keep this point as Q, the top of the tower. In the ground, let us take a point. Let us keep this point as P. And in the point P, we have to install a theodolite. P dash is the vertical projection of the point P along the horizontal axis of the telescope in the theodolite. We have to make a horizontal projection. Let us keep this point as Q dash. From the station P, we have to focus the point Q and we have to take the reading of vertical angle alpha 1. Let us keep the height of Q Q dash as H1. In the benchmark, we have to keep a leveling staff. And from the station P, we have to take the reading of the leveling staff. Let us keep the reading as S1. Now we have to make one more station in the point R. In this station, we have to install the theodolite. R dash is the vertical projection of the point R along the horizontal axis of the telescope in the theodolite we have to draw a horizontal line let us keep this point as q double dash from the station r we have to focus the top of the tower and we have to take the reading of vertical angle alpha 2 now from the station r we have to see the leveling staff and take the staff reading we have to keep the staff reading as s2 let us keep the height of Q, Q double dash as H2. We have to measure the horizontal distance between R and P. And let us keep the distance as a small d. Let us make a line connecting the ground points R and P. From the point R in the same elevation, we have to make a horizontal line towards the tower. And in the same elevation from the point to P, we have to make a horizontal line towards the tower. So both of the lines will meet in a single point. Let us keep that point as Q triple dash. This is a triangle. The horizontal distance P dash Q dash should be equal to the distance P Q triple dash because both of them are the horizontal distances from the station P to the tower. In the similar way, the horizontal distance R dash Q double dash should be equal to the distance R Q triple dash. We need to measure the horizontal angle in the station P between the station R and to the top of the tower Q. Let us keep that angle as theta 1. Then from the station R, we have to measure the horizontal angle theta 2 between the station P and the top of the tower. Let us keep this horizontal angle as theta 3. Let us take this triangle. We know that in the triangle, the summation of the angles should be equal to 180 degree. Let us take these two terms on the other side. So they will come as negative. From both of these two terms, we can take the negative sign outside. So here it will be theta 1 plus theta 2. In this way for theta 3, we will get 180 degree minus bracket of theta 1 plus theta 2. Now in the same triangle, let us use sign rule. For the angle theta 1, the opposite line is RQ triple dash. So RQ triple dash upon sin theta 1 is equal to for the angle theta 2 the opposite line is PQ triple dash. So PQ triple dash upon sin theta 2 is equal to for the angle theta 3 the opposite line is PR. So PR upon sin theta 3 the horizontal distance of PR we have kept as a D. So instead of PR we can apply D. And instead of theta 3, we can apply this. We need to remember a formula. Sin 180 minus theta will be equal to sin theta. In this one, instead of theta, 
we have theta 1 plus theta 2. Using this formula, we will get sin theta 1 plus theta 2. We can take these two terms. We can take sin theta 1 on the other side. In this way, for RQ triple dash, we will get this expression. And then we can take these two. We can take sin theta 2 on the other side. So for PQ triple dash, we will get this expression. Let us take this uh, triangle. In this uh, triangle, let us use the uh, tan theta formula. Tan alpha 1 will be equal to the opposite side Q Q dash, which is H1, upon the adjacent side P dash Q dash. We can take P dash Q dash on the other side so that we will get this. We know that the horizontal distances P dash Q dash and P Q triple dash are same. So instead of P dash Q dash, we can apply P Q triple dash. Instead of P Q triple dash, we can apply this expression. So that for H1, we will get this expression. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us apply tan theta formula. Tan alpha 2 will be equal to the opposite side Q Q double dash, which is H2 upon the adjacent side R dash Q double dash. We can take this term on the other side, so it will come in the numerator. We know that the horizontal distances R dash Q double dash and R Q triple dash will be same. So instead of R dash Q double dash, we can apply R Q triple dash. For R Q triple dash, we have made this expression. Instead of this, we can apply that. So that for H2, we will get this expression. We have made the expressions for H1 and H2. Now let us see how to find the reduced level of the top of the tower. There are two ways. Let us see the first method. We have to add the reduced level of the benchmark with S1 and H1. Let us see the second method. With the reduced level of the benchmark, we have to add S2 and H2. Now let us see a problem. To find the elevation of the top Q of a hill, a flagstaff of 2 meter height was erected. Let us assume that it is the top of the hill Q in that a flagstaff of 2 meter height is installed and observations were made from two stations P and R 60 meters apart. The horizontal distance D between P and R is 60 meter. The horizontal angle measured at P between R and top of the flagstaff was 60 degree 30 minutes. Theta 1 is 60 degree 30 minutes. And that measured at R between the top of the flagstaff and P was 68 degree 18 minutes. Theta 2 is 68 degree 18 minutes. The angle of elevation to the top of the flagstaff was measured to B. 10 degree 12 minutes at P. Alpha 1 is 10 degree 12 minutes. The angle of elevation to the top of the flagstaff was measured to be 10 degree 48 minutes at R. Alpha 2 is 10 degree 48 minutes. Staff readings on benchmark when the instrument was at P is 1.965 meter and that with the instrument at R is 2.055 meter. S1 is 1.965 and S2 is 2.055 meter. Calculate the elevation of the top of hill if that of benchmark was 435.065 meters. The reduced level in the benchmark is given as 435.065 meter. We need to find the reduced level of top of the hill that is Q. Using this formula, we can find H1. For H1, we will get 12.87 meter. And using this formula, we can find H2. For H2, we will get 12.78 meter. To find the reduced level of the top of the flagstaff, we can use two methods. In the first method, with the reduced level of the benchmark, we have to add this top reading and this height. So that we will get this. Let us see the second method. 
with the reduced level of the benchmark we have to add this top reading and this height so that we will get this for both of them we have got the same value sometimes it will be little different if it is a little different we have to take the average now we need to find the reduced level of the top of the hill the height of the flagstaff is given in the question as 2 meter in the top the reduced level is 449.9 so to get the reduced level of the top of the hill we need to subtract 2 in this way we will get 447.9 meter now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video